Hello everybody, this is not the fifth time I've tried recording this video because I accidentally hit F12 at the same time. Welcome back to today's video. Today we are going to be checking out how to add a fly command to our server. We're also going to check out um, how to add a night vision effect while you are um, there. So we're going to create our new class called fly command just like uh, you saw me delete a moment ago. Um, the reason for this is because I've done this five times and it's getting pretty annoying that I can't keep um, hitting the wrong button. Sorry, my dog's um, barking in the back, uh, whining in the background. Um, so, of course, we're going to just do our typical thing. We're going to create a new command and make it execute, implement a uh, command executor. Then we're going to implement our methods just like normal here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do um, the same thing as we normally do. We're going to do if command dot get name dot equals ignores case. And we're going to name it fly because that's the command we're doing with. There we go. Just like that. Pretty easy, right? Then we're going to do if sender dot instant uh, not sender dot instance of player then we are going to do player p equals player which is a sender and we're actually going to not put p we're going to actually spell out player there so it makes it a little easier for us then here's where everything's going to go crazy a little bit more now if uh we're going to do we're going to get eh, we'll do if player dot has permission and we're going to do it fly.use because that's an easy one boom but here's what we're going to do different we're going to do if the player does not by putting an explanation point we're going to send them a message so we're going to do send message oh my god <laughs> we're going to send them a message right now so we're going to do player dot send message chat color dot red plus and now we're going to give them a name we're going to say oh hey I don't want you, you don't have permission to use this command. We're going to not let you use this command. So we're going to do, you cannot use this command. Just like that. That means if that happens, then they will not be able to do any of the commands. And then at the end, we'll put return true so it doesn't run anything else. Just like that. Now, we're going to do this. We're going to say else and put it like this. Just like that. So that means if they do have the permission... And let's uh, we're gonna check first if there are flying. So if p dot get allow flight is tr equal to, equal to true, which means they're already flying, then we're gonna do p dot set allow flight false. Player dot send sayer dot set flying false. That's gonna disable their flying, and then we're gonna do player dot send message chat color dot red you have disabled disabled fly just like that now you may be wondering how do i make it do it so if they do have fly disabled well we're gonna do if player dot get allow flight is equal to equal to false and player dot set flying we're gonna put them to true and player dot set allow flight to true this makes it so they're not kicked for flying and then we're also going to player dot send message chat color dot green plus do this and we're going to say you have enabled fly just like that now Here's what we're going to add now. Now that we got the basics down, and it's going to work exactly fine just like this, we're going to do some other things. We're going to send a sound when um, they don't, when they enable and disable fly. So to do this, we're going to do player dot play sound. Now this is where it's going to get a little tricky. It's going to be player dot get location, just like that, comma, sound dot, and why don't we do like, um, exp i don't know what exp is chicken egg pop we'll do chicken egg pop for this then you're going to do comma one one volume and pitch i normally keep these at one because it's quite easy and i'll do the same sound for when they disable it so it sounds the same now you may be wondering how the heck do i add night vision when they are enabling fly and disabling fly well here's a, let's do this first why don't we get rid of the potion effects it's a little easier first you're going to do player dot get active potion effects dot clear that's all you got to do to clear the potion effects from player so if they have night vision or something and you want them to clear it when you have run a command or something this is the way to do it getting them 
in the other hand getting them to have a potion effect is a little bit different because this is more in um this is a little bit more stuff you have to do so we're going to do player we're going to get player again but this time we're going to do add potion effect it's going to be a new potion effect which also is then you type potion effect type and this time i have night vision and then you're going to do comma the time you want it so i'm going to do like a million for unlimited and the amplifier and i'm going to keep it as one as a default amplifier and that's how you do it so why don't we go over what i just did i know i'm kind of rushing through this the reason why it's getting it's pretty much getting late right now and i've retried recording this five times and i just don't have the energy to keep recording this over and over again for a little while so i wanted to make this pretty quickly but as neat as easy as possible so let's go over what we just did we created a new command with the commands fly we checked if it was a player if it was the console we aren't allowing it to be run by the player if the player has the if the player does not have the permission fly.use you'll get this message that says you cannot use this command and the command won't run if they do so else if the player does have it their if their flight is already enabled it's going to stop them from flying and say you have disabled fly and they're going to have a chicken pop sound and then you're not going to have your night vision anymore but if your player allow flight is equals false currently, so that will set the player to flying. It's going to allow them to fly. You have enabled fly, and you have enabled chicken pop and potion effects. So, sorry about that. I just got a phone call. But we set all that up, and we are ready to enable it. So we're going to go to our main class, and we're going to go ahead and copy what we got here, get command, and we're going to change tutorial to fly, and we're going to change fly to fly command. Just like that, pretty easy to do. Then you're going to go to your plugin YML, add fly right below where we added tutorial, build, build artifacts, rebuild. Now we're going to get into the server and see if it worked. So we're in our server. Now let's talk. Ah, look at this. We got an error. This is the first time this has ever happened. We have an error when enabling and disabling the command. Now we're going to take a look at this and see what's wrong. So our error says that cannot make the player fly if fly is false. Oh, look at this. And the error is happening on Java command 33. So we go to fly command and we go to 33. That's right here. So as we see here we have some type of issue now i did not do this on purpose so now we have to bug fix bug fixing is qu quite interesting ah i see the issue here we have set them to fly before we set them to allow to fly so they're not going to be able to fly so what we're going to do is we got to switch this around we got to put player dot set allow flying before we set them to fly this makes it so they're able to fly when they are they send an error because they were flying before they were able to now if we go ahead and reload the plugin and drag it back in and reload the server and we do slack fly you have enabled fly and we got night vision 2 um, unlimited time so it seems like everything's working we also got the chicken pop sound i know you oh we have another issue so when I type slack fly, it's now sending the message two times, saying I've enabled and disabled it at the same time. So maybe there's a better way we can do this, or there's another error in our code. So why don't we open this up and see what we can find. So we see if the player that get allow flight is true, then we're going to set them to false and false, which is disabling it. But that doesn't seem to work. See, whenever I'm in fly, it says I disabled, but I also enabled fly at the same time. Because what we see here in our code is we're also checking if they have allow flight when we run the command. Since this happens all at once, it technically doesn't. Uh, it technically says that we have, um, we are um, flying already. So maybe there's a better way to do this. Why don't we try to figure that out? Now, if we um, go ahead and do this, why don't we check this out? So, why don't we make this a little easier on ourselves, shall we? Um, if we get rid of the else statement here and just keep it the normal, right? It's going to cause some errors right now. We can live with that for a moment. What we can do is if we do this and we keep, we move this out of here. Hold on. I'm looking on my other screen because I saw how I did this earlier. And yeah. So if the player is the instance of, if the play, what we'll do is we'll put an exclamation point in front of this sender thing here. Well, actually, you're going to do this. You're going to add a second one and then an explanation point, just like this, and add a second one here and there. And then you're going to put this down here. Then we're going to do this. We're going to do system dot print. Ah, system dot out dot print in. 
and we're gonna just say you can only run this command as a as a player that way we can work with this a little better now then below that we'll have our player equals player sender and if the player does not have the permission fly.use you cannot use that command then below that we are going to get to where we are going ignore all the errors down here we'll fix that later on so we will do if player dot get allow fault flight um is false then is true oh my god i can't read it's like late and i'm getting tired so what we'll do is hold on one second i'm kind of a little tired and i'm misreading this a little uh hold on yes this is an easier way to do it so why don't we go ahead and keep what we have here but we're going to remove this right here real quick and i'm going to redo this so i'm going to delete all that ignore the errors for now so if they don't have a uh, flight enabled um then we are going to do this we are going see this is what happens when you try to record a video at like 10 at night because you're tired and it doesn't work that well <laughs> trust me it's, it's not fun it's not fun um So if the player dot allow flight is true, then the player will set allow flight and set flying false, and you've disabled fly. Then we can put else, boom, boom, just like that, and we can add our nice little guys back here, just like this. It's going to ask us to add a return statement, which is false. And let's try this now that my brain is working once again and I looked at the side of my screen and saw what possible way to do it then we're gonna do this and we're gonna go ahead and reload the server once more now if we do slack fly it's disabled fly and I fall down re-enabled fly I flew again and I've disabled so that seems to have to have worked see now I'm flying around and if I disable it I disable it I didn't lose my night vision though so why don't we take a look at our code and see why that would be um, well, we did this. We saw that it disabled flight. Oh, the reason why I did not lose my night vision is because um, I had it before I um, reloaded the server. So if I go ahead and clear all my effects right now and I type slack fly, it's going to say night vision 2. I'm going to be able to fly. And if I disable it, it still has it. Okay, so this is an interesting one. It may be the server itself doing this, as I may have something else and modifying it, but we can take a look at the code as well and see what's wrong. Um, what we can do is we'll also clear the potion effects right before we give it to them. This allows the time for it to clear. So we'll go ahead and reload this once more and go in here and take a look at it. If it's not that, I'll figure out what's wrong. It may be just my tired brain being annoying and it's being it's something that i coded and i can fix that in a future video so we've enabled fly we have night vision we disabled yeah i still have night vision i'll go ahead and fix that myself and figure out what's wrong with it when i upload the code to github um because it's something with my own brain tonight and it's not working as this video was meant to be like five minutes long and it turned out to be 30 minutes 13 minutes long so but yes we did successfully make our fly command also, it does have the sound. I'm not sure if my recording is picking it up, but it does have the sound. So you are, it is showing the chicken pop sounds, which is pretty cool. So if you have any questions, the code's on GitHub, the support links in the Discord. I promise I will not be this dumb next time I'm recording this video. I'm tired and it's been a very long day with PSAT testing and stuff. So I'm exhausted and I just couldn't, um, I, I was wanting to make a video for this weekend, but I guess I should have stayed warm awake. But we did code a successful fly plugin. It just took us a t few times bug fixing and reloading the plugin and stuff to get it to work. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Also, make sure when you're in here, go to v CS and upload it. Um, we'll say added a fly command. And then I'm going to add a to do here is fix po potion effects not clearing. So next video, I can fix that 
and I can't spell, I know. But next video I can fix that. So this code's now on GitHub. The link to that is down in the description below and you can check it out and code it for yourself. Thank you so much for watching today's video. My name is Noodles. I'll be awake next time you see me and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye.